How's it going everybody? This is Ruby and this is episode 49 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the vacuum freezer from Greg Tech. So the vacuum freezer's user interface is pretty simple. You have your one input slot and you have your one output slot. And over here is just an overview of how the machine casings need to be, which we'll go over in a minute. So if we go ahead and take a look at the building recipe for the vacuum freezer, it has two different recipes, one's for refined iron, and then one uses aluminum. Uh, also, the uh, circuits can be changed out with all the different chips, but uh, that's more expensive in my opinion. So the first recipe is for refined iron, two pumps. Now these are the build, these are not the build craft pipes, uh, pumps. These are the industrial craft pumps. So make sure you're building the right one for this recipe. And then two advanced circuits and then a reinforced glass. The other recipe is the same exact except it uses four aluminum instead of four refined iron. And that's for the vacuum freezer. So the vacuum freezer is a multi-block structure which is composed of the reinforced machine casings and the advanced machine casings. So the recipe for the reinforced machine casings are six steel, two advanced circuits, and an advanced machine block. And that makes four reinforced machine casings per recipe. The next one is the advanced machine casings. This also makes four per recipe. And you need six chrome, two data control circuits, and then a highly advanced machine block. The building of the vacuum freezer is pretty easy. I have this kind of exploded out. So it is the, it's eight reinforced, one advanced, then four reinforced, and then four advanced. And then it's the same as the bottom one again, with eight reinforced and one in advanced. So if we go ahead and build this real fast, and we'll need that too. So you're gonna start out with eight on the corners like this. Then you're gonna have an advanced in the middle. Then you're gonna have four advanced making kind of a plus sign with the center hollow. And you're gonna fill in the corners with reinforced machine casings. And then you're gonna do eight more just like so. Right there and right here and then you're gonna pop the vacuum freezer on the top and you can see that the light turned green this means that the machine casing is complete and you can move on with powering it powering the vacuum freezer is uh, pretty easy it takes 128 EU per tick so it's recommended that you use glass fiber cable as well as an MFE to constantly uh, supply it with 128 EU per tick this particular setup here I have an ultimate hybrid solar panel with an MV transformer with an MFE which is then using glass fiber cable to come over here to the vacuum freezer. Automating the vacuum freezer is rather simple. The top is going to be your input. So this is where you would put your hot tungsten steel ingots. And there's another one which I believe is a water cell to make it an ice cell. Uh, but there's no real point in that. So once it comes in here, it's going to start this little progress bar. Now this takes, I think, about 20 seconds per ingot. And then once it completes, it's going to pop it over here into this output slot. And then this side is going to suck it out into this chest here. Picking up the vacuum freezer is rather simple. You're going to want to use an electric wrench or an omni wrench. It's really up to you whichever one you want to use. And then you're going to make sure your mode key is set. You can do this by going to the options, controls, and look for the mode switch key. And you're going to want to change this to something else other than M. For some reason it does not like that so you're going to hold whatever your mode key set to then right click you'll see lossless wrench mode enabled and then you can just click it and pick up the vacuum freezer like so that's going to conclude today's tutorial if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave it in the comments below or send me a private message on youtube i read all my comments and all my messages so i will get to your question if this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it a rating would be much appreciated and subscribe as i always have new feed the beast videos coming out almost every other day if not every day thank you